Here we got the new Flex Orbital Sander. So the one we always use is this Dualt Orbital, but we're really excited to try out the Flex because it comes with this turbo mode. So on this side you can see you got a button so you can go one, two, three, and then you also got the turbo button. On the Dualt, you have this wheel that goes from one to seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the five amp hour power stack with the Dualt. Now I do sometimes actually use this with the sander and then I want to get the battery that would be closest to this, so I'll be using the 6 amp hour stack lithium for the flex. Now I don't think anyone would actually use this battery with the sander just because of the weight of the battery. It's way heavier than the power stack. But to keep things as fair as possible, I am going to be using these two batteries. From what I can feel, they are about the same weight. The Dewalt is slightly taller. And both of them have the same type of dust port. The Dewalt is actually a lot more easier to use. All right, so I got a flat piece of MDF here. We're gonna see how long it takes to strip a 12 inch section. Battery is still full. Got a fresh 80 grit, mode seven. So as far as stripping power, it looks like the flex one. Now sanding flat, the flex has less vibration. So if you're sanding for a long time, it'd probably be better to use that. However, it was easier with the Dewalt to tilt the sander using the edge, possibly because the face of the flex feels a lot more rigid than the Dewalt, which makes me think that it sands more evenly, which would help improve the stripping power. So if you like to use the edge a lot, you'd probably want to go with the Dewalt. Personally, I like the Dewalt because one, I do use the edge a good amount depending on what I'm doing. And two, even though at max speeds, the flex seems to have more power, I do like having more speed options so that I have more precision on how much power I'm using. They both collected a good amount of dust. Now we do use sanders a lot. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will do any investigations needed to be able to answer your questions. 